Minister Shikorsky. Well, I think enough has been said, and I think everybody in this room knows why Senator McCain deserves the Order of Merit from the Republic of Poland. I wanted to th thank you for having been a champion of freedom in our darkest hours, for having been the champion of the enlargement of NATO, of having been a champion of places like Belarus, even when there were no cameras in the room. And so I just wanted you to know that I'm, the one thing I regret is that I was not constitutionally eligible to vote for you in, in the year 2000. <laughs> And then I think you go up while he reads it. The decision of the President of the Republic of Poland of January 21st, 2011, on the awarding of national decorations pursuant to Article 138 of the Constitution of the Republic of Poland and the Act on National Orders and Decorations, in recognition of outstanding contributions to the development of Poland-United States cooperation, the President of the Republic of Poland, Mr. Bronisław Komorowski, has conferred the Commander Cross with Star of the Order of Merit of the Republic of Poland upon Senator John McCain. Senator McCain, would you like to say a few words? <laughs> I'm deeply honored and very humbled, and I will always be inspired by the example that the Polish people felt displayed for courage and their dedication to freedom, which was still an example to the entire world. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, and now the second award. Mr. <clears throat> the cabinet of the Republic of Poland uh, established the Bene Merite Award to uh, mark the, uh, the um, day we um, regard as the birth of modern Polish diplomacy, namely the 16th of November. Uh, on that day in 1918, Brigadier Józef Piłsudski sent the first telegram announcing to the Allied powers the rebirth of independent Poland. And we now grant the Bene Merite Award to people whose activities enhance Poland's position in the international er arena. Fred, your contributions over many years uh, particularly when you covered the rise of solidarity in Poland, when you painted a picture for the rest of the world of those remarkable days in Gdańsk, which transformed Poland and eventually all of Europe. Now in, that you're president and CEO of the Atlantic Council, your leadership promotes constructive US leadership and engagement in international affairs. Others who have received this award include Dan Fried, who is with us, and many other distinguished people. We are grateful to you for having established the Bronisław Garemek Lecture and for having moved an important conference to Wrocław in Poland. We hope you continue in your endeavor, and I'm delighted to bestow on you the Benem Merita Award. Um, 
let me just say uh, a couple of words. Uh, I took something out of my opening comments because it seemed so over the top when it was in my opening comments. Um, it also seemed a little self-promotional because I was going to refer to my book that comes out in May, Berlin 1961. Uh, you can already buy it online ahead if you'd like to. Um, but uh, but in, in those days, um, John F. Kennedy, uh, in speaking about freedom, said, Ich bin ein Berliner. Um, why not today people saying, Zishai, yes, dem, Polakin? Um, at, at the age of 25, 26, I was sent as a young correspondent to cover some labor unrest in Poland. Um, it changed the world, but it also changed my life. Um, objectivity flies out the window as a journalist, as you know, Radek, when you're in a situation that fraught and that littered with heroes and where the issues are relatively clear. I, Americans take their freedom for granted, uh, and I think I really only learned what freedom and democracy was about in Poland in 1980 and 1981. When I saw friends go to jail, uh, I saw friends' families uh, being persecuted, and I saw uh, uh, the safety uh, of people endangered and the death of uh, a Catholic father who I had grown close to. Um, but the other thing that was there and present at that time, and this is why this award means so much to me, why Bronisław Goremek means so much to me, is that the real enemy, I'm not sure if it was Soviet communism, and I'm not sure now what it is, but I know one of the enemies at that time that was present a lot was complacency and cynicism. And whatever we do today, I think I take this, uh, metal this recognition as a reinforcement, a reminder to me not to get complacent, not to be cynical as we go through these historic days, because the cynical and the complacent do not change the world in any positive measure. And the poles of that, those days were not cynical, they were not complacent. So I really, really thank you. I'm very humbled by this honor. And, uh, and, uh, and today, at least, uh, Zishai Jestem Polakin. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much uh, for sharing with us this evening. Please join us uh, across the hallway for a small reception. Thank you so much.